The Affordable Care Act is certainly a hot topic these days, but how will it affect you as an employer? Joining us today to discuss this very thing is David Bristol, the CEO of Employee Solutions. David, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mackenzie. I'm glad to be here. While we don't know all of the changes that will be taking effect yet, tell us a few of the things that we all need to know and be aware of. Well, you're exactly right. There's a lot of changes that are coming. The first thing that everybody needs to understand is the Affordable Care Act is here to stay. It's just a matter of how employers and employees work within the rules. But that's the real problem is most of the rules haven't been decided yet. So employers don't have the right guidelines when they look to hire their new employees. What are the reporting requirements that employers must follow now with the IRS? Well, as I just mentioned, the rules are still changing and some of the rules just haven't been written yet. But one of the rules that I do know for sure is you have to determine if you're a large employer or a small employer. A large employer is anybody with 50 or more employees. And that sounds pretty easy, except for there's another couple of rules that talk about a variable hour employee, which means they're employees who work less than 30 hours. And then there's a determination on the look back rules for employees, which can be a three month, six month, nine month, or 12 month rule. Employee Solutions and most of the other staffing companies are going to use a 12 month look back rule to determine whether or not we're large or small employers. There's another rule that uh, actually everybody is already paying a 0.9% tax to cover the cost of some of these health care plans. Well, what about the penalties that must be paid by both the employees and the companies? I think that's one of the things that not everybody understands. Employees might actually have to pay a penalty if they don't have adequate health care insurance coverage. Now that penalty is only $95 on the first year and they actually don't have to pay it. It comes off of their income tax return at the end of the year. So they just don't get as big a check at the end of the year. Now for employers, it's a whole different story. If you're a large employer, you're going to have to pay $2,000 per employee if you don't have adequate health care insurance coverage for them. So it could be a very expensive deal for the companies. This really sounds like a major change to the way things work. David, thanks for joining us and sharing this valuable information. Thanks for having me. Thankfully, Employee Solutions is not only establishing a benefit plan that complies with the new Affordable Care Act, but they're also helping employers navigate these changes. If you'd like more information on how to avoid paying costly penalties, visit EmployeeSolutions.com today.